14. Jocelyn Wildenstein. Jocelyn Wildenstein almost always ranks number one on the reason why not to get plastic surgery, and it's not difficult to see why. Then again, most people aren't hoping to look like a cat. We're going to react to a viral YouTube video on the 15 worst celebrity plastic surgery disasters. Are they as bad as they say they are? Let's watch. 1. Shauna Sand Actress and playmate, Shauna Sand has been under the knife more than once, and it shows quite badly. From lip injections, a rumored nose job and her botched breasts, Sand has since stated that she's regretted some of the work done. Okay, so I actually disagree with this one. I think she looks fine. Now the story is that she underwent many operations both on her lips and her breasts, and she developed keloids around her areolas. Now the areola is the colored circle around the nipple, and some plastic surgeons utilize a scar right on the border of the areola in order to put implants in. Well, that is definitely not my preferred approach. The first thing is if you get a keloid in that area, I mean, it's like right on the front of your breast. And the second thing is it does have a higher risk of complications. So if you're thinking about having breast augmentation surgery, I recommend looking into using a scar underneath the breast because that way it can be a bit more hidden and the risk of complications like capsular contracture or hardening of the breast implant is definitely lower. Two, Pete Burns. This icon of cheesy 80s music had a passionate love affair with plastic surgery, but it was one botched job in particular on the singer's lips that lead to him having to pay through the teeth, literally, for a lot of reconstructive surgery. Burns' lip filler actually came infected after the initial surgery causing his lips to quite literally explode. 18 months of painful surgery later, Burns was left looking a little different. I used to listen to Pete Burns and his band Dead or Alive when I was in high school and they would play round and round at our high school dances. But little did I know that his story would end up being so tragic. Now he apparently underwent over 300 reconstructive and plastic surgeries throughout his lifetime. And this includes a botched nose job where afterwards he claimed that he basically had two nostrils with a little bit of bone in between them. He had lip surgery back in 2002, which went absolutely horribly wrong. He actually claims that he had 1.5 pints, that's three cups of yellow fluid or pus that drained from his lips. Oh my God! And he ended up actually suing that plastic surgeon for malpractice, and he ended up being awarded upwards of $500,000. Three, Joan Van Ark. Joan Van Ark became a household name after appearing in the hit shows, Dallas and Knott's Landing. However, if you happen to catch those TV soaps now, you might not recognize this plastic surgery bocce. Well, it looks like Joan has had at least one nose job, a facelift, and multiple other cosmetic surgeries. Now, I don't know that I would say that she looks botched. I mean, she doesn't look like she looked like 30 years ago, but honestly, who does? 5. Michaela Romanini how can such natural beauty reach this level of madness? The answer, terrible plastic surgery. Are you sure that those photos are of the same person? The biggest changes that I see here are in the eyebrows and obviously in the lips. Now online they allege that she is addicted to lip injections and you can see her lips look a lot bigger than they used to. Now I find it interesting that somebody can be addicted to lip injections. Now I do a lot of lip filler injections and I tell you that of all the injections we do, this is the most painful one. And so for somebody to be addicted to it, she must have quite the pain tolerance. Thank you to True Color for sponsoring this video. Why are all adhesive bandages made in the same color? We're not all the same color, are we? Adhesive bandages were marketed back in the 1950s as being flesh colored, which basically meant that they were the color of your skin if you were a singular Caucasian skin tone. We are all different colors in today's world, and it's time our bandages reflected that as well. True Color bandages come in four different shades to cover most skin colors. They are perfect for keeping wounds clean, covered, and protected, which I find helps them to heal faster. My patients also love having a choice for a bandage that better matches their skin tone. Even though we all heal similarly on the inside, we're all different colors on the outside. And it's refreshing to know that True Color Bandages reflects just that. You can find True Color Bandages at simplymedical.com and use the code YOUN, that's Y-O-U-N, for 15% off at checkout. I'll put a link in the caption below. 
6. Katie Price. British glamour model, Katie Price, has been no stranger to plastic surgery during her career, but maybe she should have been. But after extensive surgery including lip injections and nose jobs, Price hardly resembles the beauty she once was. Katie Price is a big celebrity in the UK, uh, not quite as big here in the United States. And the tabloids out there cover like every single thing that she does, especially plastic surgery wise. Now at the age of 43, she's pretty much has plastic surgery on every body part. She's had veneers, she had a facelift, breast augmentation, liposuction, BBL, nose job, lip injections, you name it, Katie Price has had it. Now the question that I have in my mind is does she have body dysmorphic disorder or is she just plain addicted to plastic surgery? Now body dysmorphic disorder, BDD, is a psychiatric condition where what somebody sees in the mirror is different than reality. So if somebody with BDD looks in the mirror, instead of seeing a tiny bump on the nose, like you or I might see, and is technically reality, to a person with BDD, that bump is the size of Mount Rushmore, and they can't quite understand why other people can't realize and see just how horrible and huge that bump is. And unfortunately, people with BDD often undergo plastic surgeries as a misguided attempt to correct a deformity that was actually never there in the first place. Now, one of the big hallmarks of BDD is a lack of insight. People with BDD don't realize often that they actually have it. And so for them, it's their reality. Their reality is that that bump is huge, even though you and I see that it's not. 7. Bruna Felicberto. Due to a botched nose surgery, Felicberto completely lost her natural beauty in under a few hours. The surgeon made a mockery of the nose job, leaving Felicberto with a Michael Jackson-esque nose. She appears to have undergone a botched nose job, and nose jobs are some of the most difficult cosmetic plastic surgeries that we perform. From the photos, it appears that she has had too much cartilage removed from her nose. And when you have parts of the nose collapse, it can cause issues with breathing, and it can give a scarred appearance to the nose. So if you're thinking about getting a nose job, you really want to be very selective with your plastic surgeon. This is not an operation that you should have a novice do on you. 8. Farah Abraham Before the one fatal job to her lips, Farah Abraham had been a regular at her local plastic surgery clinic. Having admitted to going under the knife for a nose job, chin implants, and two boob jobs, it goes to show that it only takes one mistake for it all to go very, very wrong. So this video is actually quite misleading. So Farah Abraham, who was on Teen Mom, did undergo lip injections and reportedly had an allergic reaction. And that is what you're seeing in this video. It's not that she had them plumped up to these huge proportions. So she actually took photos while she was in the emergency room. Most likely they gave her a dose of steroids to bring all that swelling down. That being said, she is kind of like the United States' version of Katie Price. She is constantly in the tabloids for getting work done. And I kind of wonder if that's the reason why she gets work done is because it gets her publicity. Now, I hope that that's not the case because in these cases where people are just starting going operation after operation after operation, it never ends well. There's so many risks with going under the knife and they start with death and they go from there. So my hope for Farah Abraham is at some point, hopefully soon, she's going to feel happy and content in her own skin and maybe not necessarily go under the knife so much. 9. Amanda Lepore Lepore was a pinup model some years ago, but the key word there is, was. Lepore has literally had countless operations to her breasts, lips, obviously, cheeks and so much Botox, which has left the rest of the world wondering why. The story with Amanda Lepore is that in 2000 she went to Mexico to actually have her ribs broken and pushed in. I've heard of rib removal surgery where ribs are removed to help narrow the waist, but I've never heard of the ribs being broken but left in place and just pushed inward. Now there are a lot of celebrities who have been rumored to have had their ribs removed, and these include Marilyn Monroe, Cher, and even Kim Kardashian. But I tell you, this is a big operation with major potential risks like a punctured lung. And honestly, I don't believe that Kim Kardashian had this done. I don't know enough about Marilyn Monroe or Cher back in the 80s but it sounds doubtful to me. It's definitely extremely fringe and not an operation that I recommend cosmetically. 10. Latoya Jackson Despite their rocky relationship, 
Clearly, Michael and Latoya shared a similar view when it came to having work done. Latoya and the late Michael's noses are identical. I mean, they do look the same. It's kind of uncanny. Now, I spent a year working out in Beverly Hills, and one of the people I met out there used to work at a plastic surgeon's office who supposedly took care of Michael Jackson. And she told me that Michael Jackson, every several months, would be there having surgery done. They would basically have a small curtained off, cordoned off area of their operating center, and that every so often there would be a check in the mail from Michael Jackson Productions for plastic surgery. Now this story is not confirmed, it's not vetted, it's not corroborated, but this is what she told me. 11. Janice Dickinson Janice has a completely different face to the one she wore during her successful modeling career. And yes, we say, war, because her before and after shots couldn't be further apart. Oh, come on. I disagree with this one. You take a bad picture of Janice and you put that up as her after. She's not always making that face. Now, she has had a lot of work done and credit to Janice that she's been pretty darn open and upfront that she's had plastic surgery. And she is considered to be the first supermodel. She's in her 60s. Let's just let her live her life. 12. Nikki Cox. TV star and one-time all-round beauty, Nikki Cox, went through a dramatic plastic surgery transformation that left her looking like a different person from the one remembered in TV. So the big change I'm seeing here is in her lips and in her veneers. Now she does appear to have undergone lip injections, which are super, super popular and not uncommon at all. But it's important to realize that if you undergo too many injections of filler into your lips, it can in some cases make the lips look basically and the mouth look a little bit bigger. I do think this is something that we may be seeing with Courtney Cox. Now the key to having a good lip injection is you need to keep the natural proportions of the lips the same. And that is, is that the lower lips should be 50% thicker than the upper lip. When these proportions are altered, and especially when they're switched around, when the upper lip is bigger than the lower lip, that's when people look like they've had a trout pout. So if you're thinking about getting lip injections, just make sure you keep those natural proportions the same. If you wanna make them a little bit bigger, it's very common and it can look really natural. Just stick with the natural proportions. 13. Cayetana Fitz James Stewart. Proof that even royalty aren't always lucky when it comes to going under the knife. Cayetana Fitz James Stewart, or the Duchess of Alba, had a number of undisclosed operations. Two questions. Number one, she's 88 years old. I mean, for God's sakes, let's just leave her alone about her appearance. And number two, why does she have James Stewart in her name? Is this somehow related to the actor James Stewart or something? I'm so confused. 14. Jocelyn Wildenstein. Jocelyn Wildenstein almost always ranks number one on the reason why not to get plastic surgery, and it's not difficult to see why. Then again, most people aren't hoping to look like a cat. To make matters weirder, her feline fantasies were all for the benefit of her husband. Rumor has it that Jocelyn Wildenstein underwent a number of cosmetic surgeries to look more and more like a cat because her husband was a huge lover of cats. Now since then, she's actually been divorced and a couple of interesting facts. She made $2.5 billion. That's billion, not million, off of the divorce. And the second fact is she claims that she has not had any plastic surgery, that this is just how she naturally looks. Do you believe her? 15. Lara Flynn Boyle. Twin Peaks star Lara Flynn Boyle clearly wanted to retain her startling good looks of the 2000s. But when it comes to plastic surgery, going back in time isn't always the outcome. Boyle's lips are so full they look like they're about to burst. Well, this one's sad. I feel really bad for her. I mean, it's hard to be a female in Hollywood, especially at the age that she was at when she started having these cosmetic treatments. Now, I'm not sure if it is by dysmorphia or if she's been botched, but I really feel bad for all that she's gone through. I mean, she has been in hundreds of tabloids just off of her appearance and her plastic surgery alone. And being an actor, you, I'm sure that she would much rather be in magazines for her acting instead. So I really wish Lara Flynn Boyle the best. I think she's probably been through a lot and I hope, I hope that maybe she comes out of this uh, in a much better place than we have, I think, seen her. Well, one woman who did not make this list shockingly, and maybe it's because she's not a big celebrity, is a woman who once had her face injected with cement and fix a flat 
by a fake nurse. This is how she looked like afterwards. I mean, pretty shocking. Well, the doctors of Botch took it on themselves to help her out and to perform surgery to reverse a lot of what happened to her. Check out this video right up here where I react to this episode of Botch and watch her incredible transformation. And remember, eat real food, use clean skincare, and only consider actual plastic surgery as a last resort.